I absolutely love it when you get to talk about calendar, mastering the calendar, time thieves. Give us a few best practices on how we can start to create space for engagement. Mm -hmm. I think that's our starting place. Let's kind of, let's do a little spring cleaning. Let's get things all nice and neat, and then we can talk about how we do it. So what would be some good starting places for someone listening here today that says, I want to do this, I have no time to do this? Brother, you've come to the right place. I'm excited about this. But I'm going to start in a place that you're probably not expecting. I want to actually get us to step back and I want us to think about our mindset. I want us to think about attaching ourselves to the right goals. Let me give you an example. Uh, Before the show started, I was telling you about uh, that I had the good fortune this morning to uh, you know, have some quiet time, some prayer time, some exercise time. Uh, and I feel really great. And it's early in the morning where we're having this conversation. So um, I made an investment and it's going to pay dividends all day long. So here's the thing. And this is getting directly to your question. When we think about spending more time with our people, yes, you're correct. It, everything takes time. Time is a finite resource. We only have so much of it. Absolutely. Absolutely. But what we've got to start doing better, and this is the mindset shift, we need to start attaching ourselves to the desired outcome. If I invest more time with my people, if I help them, develop them, listen to them, focus on them more, give them a little bit more insight into the why, if I tap into their creativity, if I get them focused on the right things, if I do all of that, and yes, it does take time, the payoff is immense. I'm going to have this talented group of people who are fully engaged, excited about what they're doing, really looking forward to contributing to the team. They love showing up for work. And oh, by the way, I've got a group of people that can backfill me when I go on and do my next thing because I've developed my successors. So here's the thing. I think we often look at oh, I've got a one-on-one at 10 o'clock today. Man, I am so busy today. I don't have time for that. I'm going to punt that to next week, which is very common, by the way. Instead of, oh my goodness, I get to spend time with Susan today. Susan is awesome, and I need to help her really think a little bit more about this project she's working on. I want to find out how her kids are doing. I can't wait to spend time with Susan. So again, don't let this don't let this slip by. I'm not trying to be subtle. I'm actually trying to be super direct. If we will start thinking about the outcome uh, that comes from our investment, it might help us create more of a sense of urgency to make time for these things.